got the winner of the $5,000 Novice Non-Pro at the 2016 NCHA World Finals. That's Erin Bmat and she rode CT Desirable. Congratulations to you, Erin. Thank you very much. Thank you. How, how did you feel when you won your first world championship? Uh, it, it feels awesome. Uh, my first go was really, really good, and I felt like I sealed the deal with that. Uh, second go wasn't as good, but I drew last, and so it was like a harder go. But um, I marking a 222 in the first go was very good. It was fun, and like I said, it sealed the deal, so that was that's all we needed to do. Okay, you came in with a pretty good lead. Yeah. So were you comfortable, or what, what was your plan? Well, I knew that there was a possibility that somebody could catch me. The second horse, or the second place horse could have caught me if he won both go rounds. So I did know that in my mind and I knew that um, get, like I said, getting one out of the way, just getting the money won sealed the deal. And so that was very good. So first year you hauled as well, is it? Is it the first year you hauled for a world title? Yes. How did you find that? How's life on the road? Well, I honestly didn't get this horse until later in the year. Um, Dana Azevedo and Alan Ogilvy, um actually were showing this horse and he was having a little bit of colic issues and stuff and I actually got a, by a chance, I took a chance to buy him. Um, he, he's been good and I, so like they did most of the work at the beginning of the year. I didn't get him till later in the year. So I don't, as far as like just straight on hauling all year, I didn't have to do that. But I got him and I just had to finish out the year. So, How did you do on your other horse in the first half of the year? Well, the first half of the year I actually was showing just in the non-pro. I had a mare I was showing um, and uh, we were doing good, 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 good. And just not making it in the top 15. And what, hap- um, what we were planning on is next year we were going to get some babies out of her. So we were looking for a horse for me for the non-pro for next year. And this horse came along. Um, he was winning the world. Like I said, we took a chance because he had some issues going on. It's obviously a chemistry that worked. Yes. And, and my husband, Todd B. Matt, rode him as a four-year-old. Um, so we knew him. Like, we knew what horse he was. We knew that he, he's a cribber. He had, I mean, you know, he had some issues. So because my husband, Todd B. Matt, knew him, we knew that what we were getting into. So, now speaking of your husband Todd, he's also won a world championship. You've equaled him. Is it? Is it? You know, he's teaching you, or you know, is there any arguments, or is it a very cordial affair when you're both uh, training and working your horses? Um, for me, he's like the number one person. Like I just get lucky to get to do what I do. Uh, he always, like, I mean, everything he does is like awesome. So, for me, I literally. I just get lucky to do what I do. So, yeah, there's no, like, he's supportive. He is like, baby, go do it. And I just, I try to do it. I do get frustrated and I get a little ornery sometimes because, uh, like, he'll be like, why don't you ride like you did yesterday? And I'm like, because I can't. Like, I'm a non-pro. I'm, I'm not a trainer. And um, so when that comes about, yeah. So we get a little bit arguments. Like, he maybe wants me to be better than I feel like I can be. But for the most part, like he's my number one person, and I, I just try to do the best I can do. Well, I'm sure he's very proud of you with this world championship. Are you going to hit the road again in Hall next year? Uh, we're going to start the year out that way, um, and then we'll see what brings, you know, what comes about. Uh, we have a lot of good four-year-olds, so I think we'll start, you know, with the weekend stuff, and then if if these four-year-olds come along, well, they're three now, but they'll be four. Um, if they come along good, and he wants to do the age event, that will kind of be what happens. So. Best of luck with it. Thank you. Thank you very much.